Okay, so we are in this kind of situation. And like I say, strength, strength or, you know, strength is say, weakness is, is your strength. And that's actually all this what I have said is given the reasons to be optimistic. One, at the same time, when you don't see, when we don't see. I say it like this. Because partly because of the television, partly because of the new technology that is giving us the possibility to follow what's happening, you know, what's happening all the time. We, we are more capable to follow the, let's say, like fictional storytelling way, the reality. Affecting that we don't see, at the same time, the distance between, distance between film and reality is very much smaller than it was 15 years ago. And I think it's a revolutionary thing that has happened. And I, like I, I give an example, one of the big, big things is that when looking at the old films, 10 years old films or 15 years old films, we cannot show them anymore. Why? Because too many of them are fake. What do I mean by that? Is that all the older, we remember, I need a shot that two is coming out from the door and coming here. So I put the camera here and I say to Tue, come out from there and go to there, but don't look at the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today, I don't have to care of that. I had a camera, it's rolling, Tue is coming in. I can wait two hours that he will come in, that he goes to the stage because he wants to have a speech. He comes in, he sees the camera, or he reacts to the camera. It doesn't matter. Because his motivation to do his act is different than camera. And that is that people using their digital cameras all the time have, they are, sense, they, they, they are sensing this, how do you say, they feel the difference. If somebody is acting because of the camera, making, not acting, but making an action because of the camera, and pretending that the camera is not existing, compared to that, that he, you know, and, and that's, that it's a big thing that has affected to the minds of the people when they look at the documentaries. So, it's coming the next question that is, especially that the young filmmakers, I told to Stan that I met up two weeks ago, a very talented, fantastic young filmmaker. Uh, he has, she has won already awards, and now it's coming an older wise man, you know, this kind of thing. I asked, you want to be a filmmaker? You want to be a filmmaker? And she was almost kicking, mm -hmm. of course I want to be a filmmaker. What is the, what is my, what is the old man, old wise man reactions to that? I, I was just thinking of that. Come back when you want to tell the story. <laughs> and this is, it's, it's, it's a really, really important thing that actually, because of the new technology, because of the different cameras, because of the reality TV, that the, direct, the director can not be anymore so strongly between the audience and the, and the, and the film, like it has been before. It doesn't mean that the author is is disappeared, not at all, not at all. I, I could show you, if I could have shown the mantas, part of the mantas, okay? But this is, this is really, that there is to be a director to be that I'm telling to you my story, instead of I'm telling to you the story. It's a, it's a big thing. So another thing I give you, a, I, I try to be brief. I keep a bit left the I'm a little out. I show to one, it's a filmmaker, not, he's not a filmmaker, he has never done a film. <coughs> he's an anthropologist from Lietunia, being in Krosny, making research on the tortoise. 
torturing the people. Five years. He started to film. And then we or okay, he, he met Aki Kaurismäki, and then it was a discussion, and then he was trained a little bit to use the camera. So, So this is a rough cut.